Hi, I'm Derek Schall with Eldon C. Stutzman, and today I'd like to talk with you about our Valmar ST10 applicator. The ST10 applicator is an air delivery system. It's most commonly used with uh, the strip till industry for fall or spring application. It's also used for, say, post emerge crops. Uh, for urea if you have nitrogen deficiency and then also the growing side is the cover crop. So when we first start looking at the specs of the ST10 what you're going to see that 10 stands for 10 ton total capacity. It's divided up into two compartments. You have a 6 ton compartment and a 4 ton compartment on there. Each one of those tanks will come down into its own uh, single man stainless steel manifold system in which those two manifold systems will be combined into one venturi for the delivery. That being said, that means you can run two different products with this Valmar, or you can run them both in tandem with each other as one single product. Uh, for rate wise, what we can be looking at, this is a 16 row applicator, a uh, six mile an hour with a single 20 inch hydraulic fan. You can get somewhere around that 450 pounds per acre. Uh, if that's not enough for you, we can actually add a secondary hydraulic fan on this and get you up to 750 pounds at six mile an hour on a 16 row. So here would be our manifold system. So the manifold system, like I was talking about earlier, it's a stainless steel. It's gonna be hydraulically driven for your meters on there. Each tank is gonna have its own. So on each tank, you're gonna have four individual electric clutches breaking that up. So you're gonna have a total of eight sections all together, but four per tank. Uh, on there then, there's gonna be four shutoff, stainless steel shutoff gates that have peg rollers behind them. So if you ever need to come in here, you know, change your rollers out for a different rate or just uh, inspect your rollers, make sure there's nothing going on there, uh, that you can easily shut those gates, pop those rollers out and inspect them and put them back in. Uh, from there, there's also a bottom pan you can drop you can empty out all your product in there and then it's also going to actually serve as a dual purpose that you can actually do your catch test from there also which the catch test what's unique about this is you can actually do infield if you need to or pre-season check which i recommend the next thing you want to look at when deciding on this sd10 is you want to look at the rate controller so standard from factory normally what we sell is a salford's mueller rate controller What's nice about it is it's actually all preset from the factory. So all we have to do is come in here, put your swath of the machine that you're running, you know, 12 row, 16 row, uh, put in your target rate and your product density, and then you're set with this controller. It's what's nice about it also is the self calibration mode that it has. You come in there, tell it you want to dispense off, say 75 pounds of your product. You come back here, put your uh, catch test on there, you drop, you know, hit the go button on that Mueller controller, it automatically dispense that, weigh it, put that in the value in that controller, and it'll automatically calibrate it for you. The other rate controller that we use uh, common with this would be the Raven RCM. What's nice about that RCM is that if you're doing, say, an anhydrous system with this also, which is very common, uh, that RCM can actually run both of these tanks and then it can run the anhydrous system and an injection pump all off that same rate controller, which in turn will save you money when you can combine them all together. The other thing we need to look at too is common with these would be the John Deere 2000 rate controller. So most commonly we always get them in with a Digistar Isolink scale system. So each one of the tanks are individually weighed off. It's not a combined for both of them. They're each separate on there and it's ran through your ISO system. So if you have a 2630 monitor, say, on your ISO tab, you can click on there and it'll display both tank loads. If you run with the Mueller uh, rate controller, it'll actually display it on your run screen and showing the tank countdown. So on, on these ST10s, we have two different choices for how we want them equipped. You can either do a skid mount option or as shown here, the Pathfinder steerable cart. The skid mount option, um, that's nice, say, if you want to pair it up with the existing bar that you have, or maybe you're ordering a new bar that you really like and you want to install it on top of it. The thing you need to keep in mind is make sure, being 10 ton, it's a large capacity that your bar can handle that weight. When we're looking at that skid mount too, uh, two different options for a platform kit. This one doesn't have it installed on it right now, 
but you can actually get a uh, side mount platform, which will come up on the side of the tank itself. So you can walk up there and open up your uh, main gates on top. And then you can also get a platform kit, which comes across the top for your more confined areas, which uh, you might run into when you're doing a skid mount. So the other option we're looking at would be here with the Pathfinder steerable cart. What's nice about the steerable cart that they have here is they use the Ackerman concept. So that Ackerman concept, all it is, it, when you're say going around a contour, your inner tire is actually turning a little bit sharper than your outer tire. And that causes it to stay more true to your tire tracks. Uh, another easy part about this uh, Pathfinder cart is the hitch on here. So you just need onto your bar mount two, uh, two and five sixteenths balls. And this is actually gonna guide your back tires as you're turning throughout the field to stay true with that. Weight wise, uh, I think they're saying right around about a thousand pounds you'll have coming forward on this. So not a whole lot of weight on your bar. Tire wise then, when we're looking with this, uh, standard 380 tires on it. They do have options for some wider flotation tires if you would prefer them. Like I said earlier, it's a very versatile machine. It's well designed, easy to use. It's not over complicated. Uh, like I said too, I think it's really gonna be leading the industry for the future uh, with that peg roller design, the accuracy of this machine. Uh, if you have any further questions, please give us a call at Stutzman's. Our number here is 1-800-669-2281. Thank you.